Hi, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you some assembly tips on creating this beautiful wreath for the holidays. I used some product I purchased at the Dollar Tree along with some Stampin' Up! product. At the Dollar Tree, I purchased the foam wreath for this project. It is the green foam wreath along with a spool of ribbon. The ribbon was one and a half inches wide by four yards. For one of the wreaths, this is one as I have shown here, I used the silver ribbon and you need almost four yards. I had a little bit left. I'm gonna show you how I wrapped it around the wreath. What I did was I held on to it pretty snug um, as I tightly wrapped the ribbon around the wreath. So I just went and wrapped it around like so. Just keep a snug um, pull on it and continue to wrap it around. When I got to the end, envision that I've completely got to the end, what I did was just to help hold it in place a little bit, I put a piece of scotch tape and then I took a couple straight pins. And what I did was I just put those right into the foam to secure it into place. So this worked good for the silver ribbon because you can't really see the green through it. If what I also wanted to do was make one with some tool that I bought at the Dollar Tree. This is the glitter tool. It's six inches wide by five yards. And with this tool, you see the green right through, even by clustering it together. So an inexpensive way to cover up the green foam, I'm gonna grab another wreath that I got at the Dollar Tree here, is to take tissue paper. What I did was I took some tissue paper, I took two sheets of tissue paper, I folded them, and then I cut them about an inch and a quarter strips. So you wanna go ahead and cut several of those, pretty close to the whole two sheets. And then what I did was I took the two strips, as I mentioned, there's two sheets here, so there's two strips. And just like the ribbon I showed you earlier, I held on to it and I wrapped this around. You wanna have a snug, or wrap it around snugly, a tight hold on it, but don't pull it too hard because it is just tissue paper and you could definitely tear it. So what this is, is an inexpensive way to wrap or to create a white wreath that's going to be underneath the ribbon or the tool that I'm gonna put on. When I get to the end of the strip, I just overlay it with two more strips and continue to wrap by overlapping, whoops, See, I didn't have a good tight hold on that. By overlapping it, let's get that all straightened out, um, you will keep everything in place. A little, um, coming apart a little bit here, but I am trying to keep them on top of each other. And just keep that nice and snug and wrap that around. So just envision that we are to the end and we're meeting up to where we started. When you meet up to that, what I'm going to do is just take the scotch tape and put some scotch tape on here. I'm not going to um, put any straight pins in here because now I'm going to wrap the tool around here. Now this is five yards. We need almost four yards for the project. So, um, and that was because it was an inch and a half wide. I'm going to bunch this together and so I can't bunch it together too much because I won't have enough with the five yards to go all the way around but what I definitely can do is put it about um, close to an inch and a quarter maybe width. Now one thing you could do is get two spools of this then you can definitely put it closer together putting some scotch tape down and then I'm gonna put a stick or put a straight pin in there. And then I'm going to just take the tool and wrap this around. And like I mentioned, um, the white tissue paper camouflages the green foam and you have a really pretty wreath now. So what you'll do is just keep going across here, 
I'm going to show you here on video, but if you're gonna make this at home, it's just super easy. Just keep wrapping this around. You could, maybe you could spray paint it, but then you've got the fuss with that. So strips of tissue paper, inexpensive way to go around and wrap this. And as I mentioned, um, you don't want to go too tight, otherwise the five yards won't go all the way around, but um, you could always buy a second spool. So just continue till you get to the end. When you meet up again, put some scotch tape down and a couple of straight pins in there. And it almost looks like it's a vanilla underneath that instead of the white. So now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna show you the wreath I did with this. So this is the wreath that I finished and both of these wreaths are decorated with um, some of the Stampin' Up! Glimmer papers and the foil sheets with the beautiful bow, um, bows die. And I'm gonna show you how I put this all together. So I'm gonna set these both aside here. And I'm also gonna now bring in a white wreath. This is actually, oops, I just dropped that extra one on the floor. Sorry about that. So this white wreath, I wrapped the tissue paper around and then I took this ribbon, I just bought a second spool and wrapped it around. I'm going to show you how I decorate it. So in the pretend when I meet it, met up to the other ones, I told you that I put some straight pins in here. So I've got that all secure. I'm going to use this area for my embellishment. That way, if you were to turn it over, you don't see the seam and it's all gonna be camouflaged underneath there. So I took the dies and I cut them, cut the glimmer papers all out already. So what I'm going to do is start with one of the silver glimmer papers that I cut out with the pine bow. When I cut out glimmer paper, I do turn my dies upside down so I've got that done. And then what I'm going to do is just place this down. I'm going to take two straight pins and place those in. And somewhere here I have a coin. Your fingers get a little sore by pushing those straight pins in. So you just take a coin to help get those in. I will put two of these on each one. So I'm going through a couple more layers of fabric here so it's a little snug, so push that in. I'm gonna also put some copper foil, and I may have forgot to mention that I take my fingers and bend all of these up just to give a little bit of texture. Now this ribbon's white ribbon with a silver, um, a silver little trim on the edge. What I'm going to do for embellishing this is use silver and copper, and I'll grab a different pen. It fell into a little crevice here. You bring the pens over here. I'm hoping I'm still on camera here. Again, a couple more layers here. So what I'm going to do is just keep doing this and I'll keep filming this part of it because this is actually fairly easy. You're just gonna grab two straight pins and I seem to be all thumbs doing this, but that's typically what happens once you start videotaping. It doesn't quite go as smooth as when the camera's not rolling. But I wanna put two pins in each. And like I said, just use the coin to help push those in. The pins should not be popping out. If you are concerned about that, just put a dab of glue on those to keep them in. So I've got a glimmer, a foil, a glimmer, and I'm gonna go with, let's see, I'll go with another copper. Nope, I'll go with this one first. I kind of had these laid out to begin with and now I kind of got them out of order, but it really doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is go in one direction and then I'll be turning it and going the other direction. So give you a tip on how to determine when you turn and go the other direction here. So I just want to make sure that um, I got two of those, one of these, one of these, and did I drop one? Uh, it's right over here. All right, so we're all set with the same number here. I wanna end with a copper one, but what I'm going to do is put that one on last. So I'm gonna start again on this side with a silver glimmer paper, 
and I'm about that far over, so I'm gonna go just about here. And what I do wanna do is make sure that I don't start so far over that I don't meet up with these, meaning I have a bigger gap. But if you have a bigger gap, that just means you need to cut some more pine boughs out. And we'll put two pins in each. And as I mentioned, you gotta grab a coin or something to help push those in. So I'm just gonna repeat silver glimmer paper. We're gonna do a copper. You can really change this up. You can use regular cardstock. You can use whatever color ribbon you have to match your home decor. These would be great gifts also, or a great project to make with your friends. So then I'm gonna go this little white glimmer paper here and push these pins in. And I'm wondering, maybe I should move this closer to the camera. So you can see I'm just actually pushing these pins right in and putting two per to hold that. So now I'm gonna go with the silver glimmer. And as I mentioned before, I kind of bend up those a little bit and they're meeting up pretty close here and that's gonna be perfect. There's no wrong way of doing this. Each one's gonna look a little different and it's fun to, to mix and match your different foil papers and glimmer papers. So got a few layers of ribbon on that spot right there, so it's a little tough. So now when I get to these copper ones I'm gonna meet up, I actually can trim these off. I want them a little bit shorter because this is where we're all coming together right here. So I still want two pins in each one. You want to make sure you secure it in place. If you just put one pin per, it's going to swivel a little bit. That second pin's gonna keep it from moving around. So we'll put two per. I'll grab another one in here. And then this last piece of copper, I'm going to trim it off. I'll trim it off about right here and then they'll meet up like so. Again, two pins per. Keep that coin, that helps get it into place. These pins should not be popping out. But, um, let's see. Get this one in. So that is the last one we need for that part. And if you wanted to, you definitely could go all the way around this wreath. Now what I'm going to do is put some pine cones on. I ran these through a die cutting machine, copper foil, and then the silver um, glimmer paper. What I'm going to do to adhere the silver glimmer paper is I have a little Xyron machine. I'm gonna put my silver pine cones in there. Oops, got them overlapped a little bit. And run them through here. Now I have a little sticker for those. And for the pine cone piece, what I'm gonna do is start out with this, put one of them in, put a couple pins, and we'll put a couple pins in the pine cone. I'm gonna have it hang over a little bit. And I'll bring this closer to the camera just so you can see what I'm doing here. I've got that like so. Then what I'm going to do is take this off my Siron sticker paper and just cover that up and that creates one pine cone. I'm gonna place this one like so, overlap it a little bit, put a couple straight pins in there. And again, like I mentioned, it gets a little tender on the fingers, so grab a, grab a coin to help you get that um, pine or the straight pin in. And we'll get those straight pins in, push that coin down, grab the second layer to the pine cone, and there we have our pine cones added. So just a fun, added a little bit of copper to this one. For all of these to hang them, you need about 20 inches of ribbon. And just take the ends, tie a little slip knot here and this is our 3 8 inch um, metallic trimmed ribbon. I'm gonna place that loop right here 
and then you have a great wreath for the holidays. Three different styles, different ribbons, and um, just a fun wreath to make for the holidays. If you found me via YouTube, check my, excuse me, check the comment section for a direct link to my blog post where you'll find the supply list measurements and instructions for this project. There'll be a direct link to the Dollar Tree with the SKU numbers of the product that I used. And um, I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the red box underneath the video. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed creating this project with me.